Titartis, you say you want to fight, I will fight you, I will beat you, because I am champion. When Shemenko called me out, I kind of laughed a little bit. You got some big balls stepping up asking me for a fight. Mm -hmm. what Russian do? fighters are fearless, oh, and I want to prove that. That's why I'll move up in weight class and beat Tito Ortiz. Alexander Shemenko wants to be famous. Well, son, I'm going to make you famous. I was the longest reigning light heavyweight champion in MMA history. I want to compete, but I fractured my neck. I was getting ready to fight Rampage Jackson. He was uh, wrestling, I was sparring, and I went head first into the mat, and I heard a <laughs> uh, The doctor did the MRI. He saw a hairline fracture. It's very, very serious. And my doctor said, I can't clear you. Is fighting one fight worth the chance of you going paralyzed? I came to realize that, you know, it might be the end of my career. My doctor had a different idea with Tito. Stem cell injection, you'll be able to come back. I get the stem cell injections, and every week got better. I was jogging, I was able to wrestle, and I felt great. And I put it in my mind, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna compete. Five to six months later, I'm still standing. I'm still here. My life is start over again. When I do get in there and I compete, I got three boys look up to me and going, Dad, we want you to win. I wanna compete, and I'm hungry. For many years, I've been called the best fighter in Russia. But for me, that only felt real when I became Bellator middleweight world champion. Now, as a thank you to the fans who always believed in me, I want to give them a fight they can talk about forever. There's the tap on the guillotine! Tito's a legend, and he fights a weight class above me. That's no problem for me. I'll fight as a light heavyweight and beat him as a gift to my fans. Russians are tough. Some of the best fighters in the world. I respect Shemenko, but look at the guys I've competed against. All of them are all light heavyweights. To have an extra 20 pounds put on top of you and trying to get out from underneath you, there's a big difference. He doesn't belong at 205. I'm gonna dominate, I'm gonna give him a beating, I'm gonna send him back down 185 pounds. They'll be mopping Shemenko's blood off this man. Yeah. In mixed martial arts, it's the size of your heart, not how heavy you are, that wins a fight. If Tito decides to stand and trade with me, it'll mean that this fight is on my territory, and it'll give me more chances to knock him out. It dropped right on, that's it! In my heart, I fight for all Russians, and also for one girl, my daughter. I want them all to remember the night I beat Tito Ortiz. And now, the main event. When I beat Tito, fans will know I'm the best Russian fighter on the planet. I don't want to just defeat him. I want to take his head off. I want to get my hand raised. I want to show what hard work and dedication and sacrifice can achieve. I want to prove that the Bellator middleweight champ is the strongest fighter in the whole world. He made the worst mistake calling me out on May 17th. I'm going to hurt him. You better be afraid. Tito, I will break you.